So I thought I would show you my experiment that I did with the fissidin moss. Um, so there's, um, let, me, let me go through each side. So uh, you can see the date here, um, August 24th. Um, I think I did all these, yeah. All these were done on August 24th. Um, this moss was grown, um, and I tried to portion it out equally when I made them, and I can't really tell too much new growth, but, um, you'll see. So for the aged aquarium water, it was literally, um, just old aquarium water I used for my tanks. Um, all, there are some, like, uh, so let me show you. This dark stuff is all old growth, and then there's this little bit of green, light green. That's the new growth. There's also some right here. So each piece has a little bit of new growth, but very little bit. Oh, and the reason why I have, you know, the, these little pebbles, um, it's actually ADA aqua soil, um, is I wanted to see how they would attach. Because what I find very interesting about this moss in particular, and I don't know if you could see, but it actually has these little roots, um, very long actually. Um, I can't remember the name, I'll post it on screen. Um, they're not actually roots, they're, um, the structure of the moss grows to hold onto um, surfaces. So I thought it was very interesting how um, long they get, or I even like I could see it better with the Physidens moss and in other species of mosses that I've been growing. So um, that's why I put the ADA aqua soil to see if it would grow onto that. I also tried it with rocks. Um, it mostly stuck onto the aqua soil, but I think it's because it's like such a porous material and it's very you know, microscopically porous. But um, yeah, so you can see here, there's these little red roots or red strings, and they attach from this one, and then they attach to this little piece of ball, so you can see I'm moving this. Oh, actually, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a tiny little piece of new moss on that ball. Hold on a second. Let me try adding some water, maybe, and sweep everybody away. <laughs> Um, let's see, where was it? Oh yeah, you can, I don't know if you can see, but on that ball right there, there's a new little piece of moss growing. And this clump is all, I'm um, gonna pull it, and you'll see this is all attached by that one, um, the, by that structure that the plant grows. So that's new, that little guy's new. Um, so this was done in the aged aquarium water. And then this one was a 50% aged to 50% um, fresh dechlorinated water. Um, I should mention none of these had top offs because they were grown in the, the little cups with the lid on. So basically no evaporation was happening. So none of them got topped off at all. So this was the 50% aged water to 50% fresh water. And um, this one, uh, comparing these two, if you can see, um, this side has a lot more new green growth than this side, in my opinion, but you can determine that for yourself. Um, yeah, just the amount of growth, like I can see the separation, this is the old and then it starts the new. There's just more growing on these ones, like longer strands of um, fresh growth rather than the, the other side. And um, in terms of the little uh, root structure, or I shouldn't call them roots, uh, I can't remember the name, but um, in terms of that structure that clings on to things, um, I don't see, oh, this one's kind of long. Oh yeah, this one's a nice long one. You can see there's a little piece and it's like, if I drag it, it's all stuck to itself and attached to the little pieces of aqua soil. Now, they, they don't, these, this is a moss, so, it doesn't actually, um, the aqua soil doesn't do anything to provide any nutrients for them because these little uh, hairs are literally just structural for holding on to things. They don't provide any type of nutrient suck up. So all these little aqua soil balls could have been anything, um, any porous material or any surface, I think. Um, but for me, I found out that they like, they stick onto the aqua soil better. And I think that is because it's so porous. They also stick onto wood pretty good. And then, so this one, this section here was 100% fresh water. And this one had some rocks. So these, there's a few that have stuck onto rocks, but um, not many st stuck onto the rocks. They actually preferred the little balls. But uh, yeah, there's a couple stuck onto the rocks. And this one, I can't say for certain, 
it doesn't look like it's it looks very similar in growth to the 50 50 um water unless it's blocking the light uh the water experimented ones yeah you can see there's definitely um some bright green growth on these bottom ones there's a new little shoot kind of coming out from that one. So yeah, there's definitely growth. I still, I think, like just looking at all of these, um, I'm pretty sure, so let me do a pan through. So this one is just aged aquarium water. And then this one is completely um, oh, sorry, 50-50 aged water to 50% dechlorinated tap water. And then this last one is 100% fresh water. So I have none, I had, these were all grown in little cups. I don't have anything to compare it with like in my tanks um, from the time that I made these cups. So this is just like a um, comparison of side to side, not like a full on experiment. But um. I still, I think the 50% aged water to 50% fresh water uh, was the one that did the best. Now, what I wish I did was I wish I took a nitrate test of the aquarium water when I made it so I could remember how many nitrates were in the water, but um, that'll be for another time. But just comparing these, like the, it was all the same aged aquarium water, so yeah, maybe it's nitrates. I don't know. I'm not going to say anymore because I have no idea. But it looks like the 50% aged water to 50% um, tap water worked. And um, just to give you guys a heads up, my tap water is at a pH of um, 6.8. And the, oh, what should I call Mineral content is really low. So I have really soft water here. So, yeah, that's a little experiment I did. Now I'm that that's completed i mean it's been a what has it been these are done in august it's been like about four months yeah i'd say like four months so yep not much growth i mean <laughs> if this is like the best one out of all of them not much growth for four months i will say like yeah this one's maybe like what is that about an inch of growth on this one and this one looks like one of the ones with the longer pieces yeah so now to, I'm gonna put them in my tank so the shrimp can clean them up because I don't know if you can tell but they're um there's some like biofilm yeah I'd call it biofilm it was basically growing on all of them actually let me see the fresh watered one actually the fresh watered one looks really clean of course there's like a little amount of biofilm on these but like you can kind of see each little um of the little leaves it's not a leaf but um i think you guys understand each little strand of green you can see all of that pretty clearly on this one if it focuses on this one um it doesn't look clear like you can see them but there's actually a little um biofilm kind of surrounding the whole um frond and then on this one, there's, I say about the same amount of biofilm on some of these. Like this has like a little green halo around it, which is um, all the biofilm. I don't know if you see that or not. But yeah, I'm going to throw these in my shrimp tank in the back. And um, the shrimpies will have a feast for tonight. I decided not to put them on the metal wire mesh and um because i want to use these for a project later and um it's really hard like it's impossible in my opinion to cut the wired mesh that's stainless steel it's just impossibly hard to cut even with some really strong pliers at least um for me so i decided i'm going to put the um, all the moss on these very flexible easy to cut <laughs> um this is a uh, just some polishing filter pad so one side is like soft ish and one side is like hard and scratchy so um i think i'm just going to attach them to the soft side hopefully um it'll grow a really nice sheet that is flexible enough and easy to cut of course so i can use it in a future project that i have in mind for them but um yeah i just need to figure out how i'm going to attach these to that because um 
I might need to sew them on. Okay, hold on guys, let me think this through. So that was way easier said than done. But um, there was probably a few ways you can do this, but, um, and I should have done this on a smaller piece, even though this is already, compared to my hand, pretty small. But, um, so this was all the moss that was laid out here. I put it all in here and um, I made little X stitches. So I went like top, then down to this little corner. And then I, you know, when I'm pulling back the needle, back up with the string and from this top to this little corner. So there's four rows, believe it or not, of X stitches about a centimeter um, thick a stitch. And I don't know if you can see this, you can only see some of them in the back, but um, what I used was just this um, fishing line and a little needle uh, right there. So it took a couple uh, goes with this um, and a lot of spraying with the sprayer because um, this mat just dries out so quickly. Um, I definitely did not get all the pieces down, but I'm hoping there's enough um, layered on top of each other that most of it will stay. I know some there's like little bits of um, moss on the little balls, so I'm that's not going to stay that down, of course. But moment of truth, we're going to put it in the tank with a shrimp. Alrighty, there we go. Actually, let me bring this forward a little more. There's my beta. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, I kind of just want to squish it down, but all the shrimp are like right there. And then there's... Okay, shrimpy, sorry. You're going to have to move. Sorry, sorry. Everybody evacuate. Okay, there we go. Oh, yep. Look, there's a little piece floating. But um, I think for more or less, it's more or less it's staying down like um all the little pieces so actually um it's so like hard to see oh, sorry not even on camera it's really hard to see but there it what is like a lot of biofilm on these and um i don't know if i should have attached it to the soft side of the mat or the harder side that was more rough i was thinking the soft side is more delicate for them oh yeah we've already got some interested shrimps so there's there's some stuff for them to eat on there hopefully this will be in one piece in the morning and i won't find a ton of little pieces of moss floating all over the place